no, I'm in the wrong lane. Luckily, I'm not in the Fiat 500 when I'm in the wrong lane. Good morning. This is a weird start to uh, the vlog. However, as you can tell from my attire and a vlog a week ago or something like that when I needed to be dressed smart, I've got a pretty important day today which you're coming along with me on. It's 25 past seven. This is the earliest the vlog has ever started. So today we are starting super early and heading straight to SB. I'm meeting up with Barry who gets to work very early who is going to start the process of taking the exhaust off of my car now he's not actually taking the exhaust off I'm going to be doing a farewell video on that as and when it happens but he's just taken off the module the remote kit and the valve the vacuum system I don't really know why but apparently it's just a good time to do it for him I've arrived super early at SB and um, to refresh your memory, this is what my car looks like. Not too bad from the front until you get to the back. It's still grey. So um, yeah, today I'm heading to a meeting in a car that looks like that. Oh well, I think it looks quite cool, but I still haven't got double sided tape for the number plate. That hopefully might happen this afternoon, then I can revert it back to a full-on silver. I'm going to do a proper pressure jet wash as well, which will um, help with all the little bits and pieces of the um, liquid peelable paint that hasn't come off yet. You won't believe the dream journey that I've just had around the M25. The time is half past eight, so it's taken me around 40 minutes to get to Chigwell, but I'm here. I've got a Porsche Carrera 4S in front of me. Right, I think we are the most efficient drivers on a Monday morning. <laughs> We've never hit traffic. Well, everyone hits traffic on the M25. Tell me Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ross, and we are heading Hello. to Brands Hatch for a secret meeting. I don't really know how much information I want to give, off, give away just yeah, yet. Yeah, nothing, nothing too soon, nothing too soon. Nothing too soon, but we're heading to Bra uh, Brands Hatch, a place that you're very familiar with. For those of you who don't know, Ross is a very, very experienced racing driver. Ex-racing driver or racing driver? I say ex, expected to come back into it. Okay, <laughs> ex-racing driver, about to come back in and challenge Lewis Hamilton for the title next year. I don't know about, I don't know about <laughs> that, but I'm hoping to get a bit more racing experience with my belt again. When did you start racing? Like, Try and give us brief but as descriptive background of your racing experience. So, these guys... When I was four years old, my dad bought me a cadet car. Um, initially, I crashed straight into my dad's factory. <laughs> um, but then I practiced, obviously, for the next few years. We raced go-karts throughout all, um, all of my career until I was 16. Then I moved into Formula Renault. Um, raced against some names that obviously people have heard of now, like Max Chilton, uh, James Collado, Oliver Webb, um, the Chris Tadilu cousins. Um, and that was the end of my career, just basically ran out of um, financial backing due to the credit crunch. Um, but I'm looking forward to having a day at Brands Hatch and hopefully getting back into it. I don't think we're going on the track today. Well, maybe break we'll try and sneak we'll yeah, we'll in, but we'll work out where the gates are. So yeah, we're going to Brands Hatch. What we can say is this is a new YouTube series that we're hoping to create that is going to be higher quality than daily vlogs, higher quality than pretty much anything that I've ever produced on YouTube. Yeah. And the idea is to just sort of create something that has an end goal. Maybe yeah. we should say that, it's got an end goal, that's it. So we're on route now, the M25 has been so good to us and I've just paid for the Dartford Crossing. On the way back we go through the tunnel. Yeah. The problem is that the valves are wide shut. <laughs> We're now making our way into the pits. Ross is going to give me a tour. <laughs> teach, me, they didn't say. teach me how to do a pit stop. <laughs> Take the wheels off. We had a successful meeting, always a GTR. Yeah. Good spot. Right, yeah, we're going to wander around and just um, have a look in the pit lane and then get our way back onto the M25. And a few then... apexes. <laughs> a few apexes, yeah. So we've got a typical MSV track day going on here. 
with some serious cars. And this is something potentially that me and you are going to be getting involved in in the near future. I'm not saying so you'll be on one of these yeah. things. <laughs> Civic Type R? I hope it is. Yeah, it is. I think my car's too loud for this track because you are. Oh. Yeah, there's not been anything too loud so far. Yeah. But there's some Porsches, BMWs, G there's a GTR right at the back there, the R8's there, R8 Spider. And we just got cars flying round. Ones. So I think we bragged too soon about how efficient we were on the M25. The route back across underneath the Dartford Tunnel is a little bit slower than before, but successful meeting. Yeah, I amazing think, meeting. I think we had a lot of a lot of positive comments and a really positive outcome. And we're going to keep it under wraps for now, but just to let you know that there's going to be an insane. You got a guy in the turbo checking out the RA. He could have me all day, <laughs> all day long. That's probably what he was thinking, saying to his driver. Anyway, there's going to be a serious, seriously cool collaboration coming here. Um, and, I mean, that's all we're going to leave it at. We're going to have a lot of fun next, no, this Sunday. I'm getting off for... Um, I your, keep getting confused. Yeah. <laughs> this Sunday at Goodwood. It's, so. it's this Sunday at Goodwood. Me and Ross are heading down in a two-seater convertible. Oh, that, oh it's an M135, aren't they? They're quite rare, I think. I don't know. Cool cars, anyway. Probably as quick as this round of track, depending on the driver, with me driving this definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all about to change. It is about to change. But that's the teaser. 430, 509, and another 430 there. Now it's time to head over to Supercar Experiences and check out the supercars leaving. I don't know where the best place to turn around is. They're leaving to go up north. They're heading up to Peterborough, I think. I don't want to say, but I think there's like six, seven supercars leaving for Peterborough. Right, I am in the position for the cars to come. So I'm just gonna stand here and wait until they start coming. I think the Lambo is gonna be first. For some reason, the sun has come out, it's boiling downstairs, and I have recently just removed the rear Nardo grey on my car, and I've been sent some products, as you can see here, from Cardip UK, who, um, well, they wrapped the car, um, well, they painted the car, but there's loads of little bits and pieces, annoying things that my fingers can't get to, so they sent products down for me to be able to remove the final bits and pieces of the Nardo Grey so that it is completely silver and pretty much back to factory. So I'm awaiting a reply to work out how they work, which ones I'm supposed to use first. Um, but as you can see, dip solve, base remove, water base remover, and another water base remover, but they're two different colors, so not sure how it's supposed to work. So I'm just gonna hang around, wait for a reply, and then um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you downstairs so you guys get to see what it looks like, all silver, with no number plates. There you go, all silver, wheel's still black, caliper's still green. Spoiler's still black, actually. Clean look. back up into the SB office with the Porsche Army Tricks well on its way home 
And not a lot going up here, if I'm completely honest. Now I've just spent the majority of my time planning my diary for the next two weeks, realised that I've got to film about 20 videos, film and edit about 20 videos to make sure that I've got content going out pretty much on a daily basis whilst I'm out in Portugal. So it's going to be a long two weeks and the car's going here, there and everywhere. So we're meeting up with Aspect Valeting, um, hopefully going to um, sort a few bits and pieces out with them. I've got about 8% on my phone battery, so um, the trip back home probably isn't going to be vlogged. And then um, it's all about preparing for this weekend, which starts on Wednesday when the car arrives. I've got a review to do on the car, because it's one that I've never driven before. Really excited about that. And it's now 5 past 5 in the afternoon, which means my vlog has gone live. And on one phone I've got... 5% battery on the other one I've got 8% battery which is not good at all but my backpack's on I'm ready to get home put them back on charge and get ready for the evening and uh, It's a VW Golf. It's making that noise that Porsche sounded awesome by the way absolutely Mental so we've skipped a few hours now that my phone is now fully charged and I know people may say what about that portable charger that I bought well I forgot it today, waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning, um, you sometimes forget some things and I'm not used to waking up that early but it has been a very successful day and as you can tell probably now the fact that I'm in the passenger seat of the Fiat 500 that means we are <laughs> en route to get dinner. Uh, Monday, Monday evenings normally consist of doing a weekly food shop but I think today it's been a long day it's going to be a quick one it's just going to be a straight dinner probably not going to be a pizza and then later on i am going to be going to the gym around 10 o'clock so what do we get for dinner is the question i don't know it's definitely not going to be pizza if we end up with a pizza then that's just going to be terrible I'm talking now in my videos <laughs> Anyway, I've silenced my driver and we're now going to Morrison's to find out what we're going to have for dinner. Really long day, up at 7 o'clock, I'm probably, there's <laughs> going to be loads of comments being like, I get up at half six, I get up at five. Let me know what time you wake up for work. It's been a bit of a one-off to get up so early for me, but we had a lot to get done and what a fantastic and successful day it's been. I hope you have enjoyed um, the watching the daily vlog and this week it's just going to get better and better so fingers crossed the weather holds out for Goodwood and we can have a lot of fun with the um, people that I'm going with on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So that is it from me. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Do you want to know what I got for dinner? I'll show you. Nice and healthy pork and Spanish chorizo burgers. So I'm going to demolish them and then hit the gym, edit the video and get up slightly later tomorrow. See you tomorrow guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.